Les played the 11 first matches at Challenger level in the tournament round of the Basti Open in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by White Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 if you like this video. So I have been qualified the 18th rank. Let's browse the listing of the qualified players. So this tournament round took place between the 19th and 21st of July 2020. I was qualified, as you can see, at the 18th rank. I had made a rematch after my qualifying round where I was not very lucky, meeting as two excellent volley players who are um, Core Blue and Noam. Well, let's uh, try and do better during this tournament round. It depends, actually, if I'm lucky enough. I'm going to not to face a lot of volley players. Well, because right now I haven't found the key yet to beat them. Uh, excellent volley players. I know how to uh, to counter the the volley players who are not too good, but for the other volley players, that's another another issue. <laughs> I haven't found a solution yet, but I'm going to play this tournament round exclusively with Leo using the high serve, two equally strong hand styles, so not high serve and big forehand, but two almost equal strong hands. All right, let's uh, browse the list of players in the bracket. Uh, a lot of uh, very good players. West Ben Q, uh, we have just seen who. Uh, has uh, 3,800 trophies. Fozzi, who is a specialist of high serve, big forehand. Fly Robot, who is a top 10 player, very often at the first rank. Well, a lot, a lot of uh, very good players, of course. All right, let's start with um, high serve. Almost big forehand. This opponent has uh, put some points on here his backhand so he has a bet on his forehand only that's good that's a good choice i think okay well i have problems at the beginning of the match with my serve all right as you can see the bastard string can trigger critical now and then when you can hit with enough power and that's good because it allows you to end the rally is quite fast then. Oh my gosh. Yep. It's 44 points. This backhand with 44 s s points only of power well can de be devastating if you play with the bastard string because you have critical and well it can hurt even if uh, it's relatively weaker than the, the forehand. Alright, equalize. So, of course, in a match between two high serve players, I would say that uh, it's not very interesting. <laughs> it's almost boring actually. Not as boring as a match uh, between two volley players, but that I have already played in tournament round at challenger level. When I was trying uh, to play with volley, I met another very good volley player and well, the match was really, really long and boring at the end. It was fun at first, seeing two volley players trying to, <laughs> yeah, to counter each other is really fun because it's very tricky. Unless you are an expert of volley, of course. Well, then you know how to counter the other volley player, but otherwise, that's a bit tricky. And yeah, I was saying that between two vol two high serve players, things can keep going like that, you know. Winning serve, a very big serve follow up by a big forehand, a fold, and then. A very big serve, follow up by a big forehand, and bis repetita, same thing, ace, and ace, 
Match point. And then big serve. I shouldn't have taken. Yep, I shouldn't have profit uh, of uh, the opportunity there. I had several opportunities and I didn't play those points very well. Well, it was the first match of the tournament, so. Yep, I didn't play very well those points, really. I had two good opportunities there. Well, I have plenty of room for improvement in my game, as you can see. I have, I have never said, actually, <laughs> that I'm good, so. so that's cool. I know that I'm nowhere, nowhere f close to the, uh, the good players, so. You have just seen an example. Okay, well, well done. Well played to my opponent, Hamido3122. Let's try and do better. This is this Victoria. Almost the same lineup than the uh, previous opponent, except that it's the Victoria. So, a backhand which is not too good, but which is decent, not too weak either. Yep, nice serve. One. This opponent surely knows how to serve. Out. And I had to return that. I tried to return that hand. Sometimes just return to uh, try to hit a, a good winner instead of controlling the ball. Three. Because anyway, if you return by controlling, the ball can. Three. Well, most of the time, the, the ball will uh, will reach the opponent's court side with a relatively uh, low speed and yeah it was lucky then that my opponent gave back this point I lost previously and now we are we have equalized but 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 very good serve and bad positioning for my part yep I didn't start the tournament serving quite well not good at all so I have just, you know, I have kind of learned to serve um, simply decently, r very uh, recently. I used to serve very, very badly. And now, well, I have improved it. So I know how to serve fast. So I made a mistake the, uh, during the, uh, the Tokyo Open the previous tournament round, trying uh, to play with the Koi instead of the Jolly Roger. And I was hitting quite regularly serves above 200 kilometers per hour. And during practice matches, where well, I was serving really, really, very, very often serves, I was serving yeah, above 200 kilometers. Oh, wow, well played here. You wrong footed me. And well, yeah, I shouldn't have actually because um, I had seen afterwards during the tournament r at the end of the tournament round that uh, playing with the Koi instead of the Jolly Roger didn't give me a lot of aces. Even if I was serving fast in a lot of points, a lot of uh, yep points, and well, that w some subs have uh, confirmed that uh, the speed that is uh, display on the panel um, around the court is uh, very relative. It just shows, it just says that you are serving fast and that's all. You, need, you still need to, uh, to put some serve. You have to, to have a, a decent serve stat uh, anyway. My gosh, I shouldn't have controlled that a bit better. Yep, still have to improve the way I return. With Leo. You know, those soft balls that can hurt, that can become kind of drop shots. I, I can do that much better when I play with Kaito, but... With Leo, it's, um, it's not exactly the same thing. I don't feel it the same way, actually. Okay, who is going to make the first mistake? 
you just need to make one mistake and it will be game over, of course. Because it's very, very hard to <laughs> win. To hit a, to have a break point versus a high serve, big forehand player, or even high serve, two equally strong hands. Yep, and the first player who makes a mistake will have the match lost. All right. So yeah, I was. Yep, first mistake. Well, it's not really a mistake. I, I wrong-footed her correctly, successfully. That's all. Was not. A, yep, this is a mistake <laughs> from Unforced Mirror, from uh, my opponent. Okay, it's cool. That allows me to catch up a bit uh, in terms of total score. So yeah, this uh, tournament round. Well, I'm going to play with um, Jolly Roger instead of the Koi. I'm going back to my previous lineup, actually. The one that I used during the Tokyo Open. And well, looks like uh, myself can hit more aces. Even uh, if I serve them at lower speed, well, I can hurt uh, my opponents a bit more. So that's. So as you can see, I don't play with uh, the sprint card. Because well, I I like to hit my ground strokes behind the serve, which is for me just a starter. I generally prefer to play the ground strokes behind, you know, to have a baseliner game behind the serve. I'm not one of those uh, high serve specialists like uh, Shoni Shoni or Fotzi who can, well, can rely on the serves to win a lot of points for free, to serve a lot of aces. I'm not that good, yep, not good at serving like them. So, well, I have to catch up somehow with uh, my ground strokes. And even, <laughs> you know, even with my ground strokes, I have a hard time now and then. This is uh, some very good players, mostly Kaito who know perfectly how to counter that, how to play, how to position the Kaito correctly so as to counter my myself. But well, I guess that uh, against those players I, I, I can only improve actually in my game. So you had seen that during the qualifying round I had a very hard time versus ITP Gaz Seven, yeah, I think that was his name. And well, previously I had uh, some. I was put in a very difficult position by Fryja, another um, Kaito. So the, the common common thing that they have is um, a high agility, seventy four, seventy five, two equally strong hands, and well, they they know. So talking about players who know how to counter pretty good the uh, high serve players, here's one. A former number one global. So his player name is Tommy Kanda now, but he used to have um, a player name of ITP Kanda, something like that. He used to have 3,800 trophies. He dropped a lot of them afterwards, and now he's coming back a bit at almost 3,600. He kind of st stopped playing uh, at one moment. And then he came back and, well, he, he hasn't lost his tennis, his game. Yeah, he's very good. He's very good. I have already played him several times. And not, yeah, it's not only because uh, Leo is lacking agility or or whatever thing here, there's no excuse. He's simply good. I was playing versus him using my Kaito. Well, the last time I was playing versus him, that was uh, my Kaito didn't have the Anvil max out, and a lot of cards were not upgraded. But still, his Kaito is a very powerful leader, 
and he he simply swipes very fast and very well he hits he has trained to hit a lot the two corners much better than here well as you can see <laughs> the match was very very quick and it's the price normal common price when you play versus uh, this player well doesn't matter much will be good for a rematch yep we will try and do better with uh, with another rematch okay uh, Victoria let's try and do something good Leo versus Messi hey it's too bad it's Victoria if he was playing with Leo that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't give Leo Messi that wouldn't be fun let's go this quick catch is doing good. Yep. So I had guessed correctly the first time, not the second time to counter. Anyway, alright, let's try and hold a bit to serve. Yep. Anticipated here for wrong foot struck but that didn't come and that return was a bit too long too bad yeah so the ace is coming back once I have stopped using the coin <laughs> and I had put on the jolly roger yeah that fo that backhand was a bit too uh, soft fortunately I won the point well, my opponent was serving very correctly. Yep. I didn't guess correctly here. Another ace. Yeah, it's surely easier with Jolly Roger. Big mistake here. This mistake. I shouldn't have. Oh, I should. I shouldn't try. Well. It will be good. It will be good for the experience. I will serve differently. I'm trying to serve differently during the uh, next match as well. I still have to improve, really, my game. This is how I serve players. Let's play the sixth match. Versus Paco Rios, um, a player that I have faced quite regularly in Tour 7. I find it a bit surprising. He doesn't play with uh, Victoria, who is clearly his uh, preferred character in the game. I've seen him play with Victoria a lot in Tour 7. And he's really good playing with Victoria. He hits really hard everywhere in the court but well oh my gosh what is that and yeah his hitting pattern is not too tricky to read so let's try and uh, take profit of that here okay he starts quite well being led as I said is my specialty. <laughs> I love it. I don't know. I love it. Being led and then try to come back, you know. I don't I don't do that on purpose, of course. <laughs> I'm not crazy, but I just like that. Being in the situation of the hunted, you know, and try to uh, to go back and hunt the hunter and that's cool. That's cool. That's thrilling, exciting. And well, I'm quite used now to uh, to come back. So, you know, after being led so often in uh, so many matches, that the this is the, the thrill is not it's 
not there anymore. No, it's it's not um, identical than the first times you you succeed in coming back. But well, still, it's satisfying, of course. Well, it depends also on the uh, opponent. Sometimes you can feel that some opponents don't have, um, I would say, uh, very very big men yeah, mental strength. Very solid psychology for them to handle the end of the matches, to kill the matches, even if they are, they are leading clearly, very clearly. So versus those opponents, well, it's, there's nothing really exciting to come back because we well, are quite used to that. But versus uh, some other players that uh, you know they, they can hold the nerves, they um, they really good at killing the match. Uh, Etc. And versus whom I can have a hard time playing. Well, it's satisfying, more satisfying when you can come back versus those players. A two row. Yep, that that is exactly the uh, the kind of uh, soft returns that I was talking about. So I need to be able to do that when I'm really outflanked and no not good not good and I was I was saying uh, previously that uh, oh my here again as you can see for zero for zero four being led what I was talking about zero five funny huh yep so, can the start? Can the match start now? Five. Maybe. Come on, GP365, you can try and do better. <laughs> yeah, at zero five, I think that the match can start now. Now it's. Uh, I'm kidding, of course. Um, I'm far from saying that. Uh, I kind of give uh, five points in advance to my opponent. This is not what I'm trying to say. It's, it's just a joke. Um, I am not doing that on purpose. Promise. It's just like that. I don't know why. I'm s so much of an led. So much of an and then I start really slow all matches. I have plenty of match points against me. And well, somehow, sometimes, well, I just... It's a miracle. Miracle and after miracle, I don't know. They keep coming, the miracles. And well, yeah, another miracle here. <laughs> That's fun. Yep, was trying to hit on his body to change a bit, but uh, well, didn't work here. Yeah? Fortunately, I can count on myself. And then a critical shot. And a winner, forehand winner, lesser, now that he has less stamina, that should be easier for me. To kill the match at the end, yep, I just need to, to handle this in a solid way, not cracking under the pressure, not doing mistakes, and that's all. As you can see. Whenever the match is not finished, when you, you know you haven't seen the uh, the end of match screen yet, don't give up. Paco Rios again. Looks like we are not very very uh, many to play at uh, the same time. Okay, well, start not too bad. The aces are coming back. It's surely better to hit them with the Charlie Roger than with uh, the decoy oh my wrong footed I was well done but curious well done Second let's go so now and then well you know it can happen too I'm not let all the time yep 
nice winner. Yeah, I don't know why he was running everywhere here. Two. You can clearly see that some players handle much better the positioning to receive the serve, the big serve. Yep, he likes to insist. I know that, but well, now and then he can wrong foot as well, so. I had to prepare myself and position Leo at the center of the baseline. Okay. Cool. Well, that's better, of course, to lead 4 3 than to be led 0 4 all the time. Wow, even 5 3. How long haven't I seen that? 6 3. What is that? No, it's not me playing. It's not possible. What is that? 6 3. That's a new sensation. Wow, 7 3. I have rarely felt that. <laughs> yeah, it has been a long time having a lead hand <laughs> finish the match with 7 3. So long. Okay, wow, that's cool to win that way now and then. You know, not being led all the time. Okay, who are we going to see for the ninth match? Uh, high serve, mm, slightly bigger forehand than the backhand, not too weak a backhand. Let's go. Okay, I don't recognize this opponent. Looks like I haven't played versus him yet. I don't remember his avatar, I don't remember this player name. Is it a newcomer? Is it challenge a challenger level? One. Well, one thing is for sure, I haven't seen Two. this player in Tour 7 or Tour 8. Uh, it may be a lower trophy player Two. who is specialist of serve and who is trying the challenger level. Why not? Everybody has his chance. A challenger level, especially if uh, this player is a specialist of high serve. Oh, right. Oh, right. It's not too bad. 4 3. It can be worse. Come on. How come I flank it by this? This backhand of his oh my gosh yep looks like this player knows how to play with this style you know because I say that because not all players going uh, challenger level and playing with a uh, high serve big forehand knows how to s serve very correctly I am the first example for that I used to play I used not to know at all to serve correctly and I have improved a bit myself since and well things can only be better and that's cool that's cool but well to be honest I really hope to see a day when you know you can play the challenger level with plenty of different styles and not only with high serve because you have you have seen there are a lot lot of high serve players me included in this tournament round and I bet that in other brackets well there are a lot of uh, high serve players as well in my bracket there are some specialists already and yeah there are currently two main I would say playing styles at uh, challenger level in the tournament round and in the qualifying round mostly high serve big forehand or high serve two equally strong hands players and then four layers there are very few baseliners and a lot of baseliners including some very high trophy players have a hard time I've seen several 3,800 trophies players not qualify because they were they were they were playing with Kaito I've watched at their the profile at the lineup they use Looks like they don't want to use uh, the high server. They are not used uh, to play with that uh, the style, or they don't like to play with that style. Well, I don't like to play with high serve big forehand either. But I had to 
to learn how to play with that. Because, well, that's the way to go in, uh, in tournaments. Right now, anyway. Maybe that in um, a future update made by the publisher, well, the game can be balanced a bit more and different play styles can coexist uh, better in tournaments. I don't know. Right now it's not the case yet. Too bad. So, yeah, I... Um, Fortunately, I don't have a good serve, but I I, uh, I know a bit better how to play baseliner, so behind the serve, if it fails, well, at least I, I have two hands to handle with to, uh, to try and manage the, uh, the, the rallies. Sometimes it doesn't work, of course, because you are kind of blocked when you play with this high serve, big forehand style you don't have a lot of agility and you will suffer from that versus very agile Kaito who knows how to counter the high serve beforehand so yep when you play with two equally strong hands well it's not a double or nothing style anymore but uh, still oh my gosh what did they do here <laughs> was such an amateur mistake I put that back. My gosh. Yeah. That was such a bad mistake. Well done. Well played. Dirty shot, but well, it works. Congrats to uh, this uh, player. I don't know how to pronounce this. It's, it looks like it's a Russian or uh, Ukrainian name. Tommy Kanda again. Okay, I feel it. I feel it will be very, very hard. Yep. I feel clearly that two rematches at least will be required <laughs> to to improve the two scores versus him. So yeah, he used to be uh, in the same group than. Uh, ITP guys 7 he was an ITP player for some reasons he uh, he got out and he removed the ITP from his player name but they have a kind of um, a similar way of playing him and ITP guys you can feel that it's uh, it's the same school of tennis. <laughs> yeah, so easy. So easy. For him. Yeah, plus I was putting... Anyway, even if I put that in, that wouldn't change anything. But, uh, well, let's say that rallies and faster, even faster. If I put things, it put balls in the alley and in the net. Well, nothing to do. He's much better. He's, he plays very, very, very good. Very well. He knows perfectly how to play versus uh, high serve players. And fortunately, it's not the case for all Kaito players. For Arturo, for instance, I succeeded in beating him. Well, he's not using the... The best is string, so things are a bit easier, for sure. To be honest, I'm surprised to see Kaito players not using Joker course when they play this is a high serve big forehand players. Well, except for um, for the previous uh, opponent, you know, the previous uh, war number one. But uh, who can? Almost play with any string and still win, I think. This is a uh, high serve. Un unless, unless he faces uh, some real specialist of high serve, uh, wi which I'm not at all. So, yeah, this one, well, I, I was a bit surprised. He, well, not so surprising actually, because he's putting on the, the haters' threads, you know, those red shoes, which gives good agility. But but almost uh, 
well not almost no stamina at all compared to the anvil so if he put the uh, choker course on he can end the match with almost no more stamina and that would be very dangerous for him and so I can understand his choice of putting the uh, stamina uh, the Maestro uh, Minty on which gives him a stamina shield and tier 2 but you know versus the high serve this is this is not a very useful string unless unless well you are a high serve player yourself and in that case well the Maestro Minty can allow you to uh, quick catch some serves on the body all right, well, that's the end of my 11 first matches. Uh, yep, yeah, two rows, not the same opponent than uh, the previous ones, for sure. I placed fifth uh, at the end of my, uh, fir my 11 first matches with a total score of 62 and a neutral balance of zero. Well, you are going to uh, see the lineup that I use, um, the cards I use with Leo. I hope you enjoy watching me play the 11 first matches of the tournament round of the Basti Open in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay265 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support, and see you soon on Gameplay265. Bye-bye.